The Grand Canyon, one of nature's most stunning masterpieces, has also become a harbinger of death. Over the years, nearly 900 souls have met their untimely end within its depths. And it's baffling, knowing its dangers, that millions still flock to the Grand Canyon every year. What could be the cause of these deaths? Are there no warning signs in the canyon? Today, we dive into the tales of those who have fallen into the Grand Canyon. Some went to their deaths, while others were rescued. The Grand Canyon has always taken our breath away with its endless stretches of red rock and winding rivers. Long ago, in 1919, people recognized its magic and named it a national park. Since then, families, adventurers, and dreamers have all visited, looking to experience a piece of this natural wonder. Every year, millions of people from all corners of the world travel to see the Grand Canyon. But why? Well, it's a masterpiece painted by nature itself. The reds, oranges, and browns of the rocks tell stories of many years gone by. Each layer of rock is like a page in a big ancient book, showing the world's history. Then there's the view. Standing at the edge, you can see for miles and miles. The site is so vast and wide that it feels like you're looking at a giant painting. Rivers twist and turn, birds soar, and sometimes, if you're lucky, you can spot animals living their best life. So, it's easy to see why the Grand Canyon was a big deal. Its natural beauty, history, and amazing views pulled people in year after year. Everyone wanted to be a part of its magic, even if just for a little while. But while its beauty draws us in, there are stories here, some of joy and some of heartbreak, waiting to be told. Yet with all its beauty and wonder, the park's caretakers knew the Grand Canyon had its dangers. So, they took steps to keep its millions of visitors safe. Safety signs warned of the steep drops everywhere you looked and reminded people to stay behind railings. Fences and barriers stood tall, marking safe areas where people could enjoy the view without getting too close to the edge. But why all these warnings? It wasn't just about the heights. The paths could sometimes be slippery, rocks might be loose, and at times wild animals roamed nearby. The park wanted everyone to have a good time, and more importantly, a safe time. Even with these precautions, accidents happened. Maybe someone wasn't paying attention, or maybe they were just too eager to get that perfect photo. But these stories, these moments, are a reminder to all of us. The Grand Canyon is beautiful, yes, but it also demands respect. So, when visiting, always remember to look out for the signs, stay behind the barriers, and most importantly, look out for one another. With all these safety measures in place, it's heartbreaking to think about the accidents that did happen. And it's not just recent events. The history of falls at the Grand Canyon goes back many years. The first known accidental fall took place in 1925. A young man named Lewis Thompson had come to enjoy the beauty of the canyon, had decided to venture a little too close to the edge. Desiring a better view, Lewis lost his balance on a loose rock. Despite the frantic efforts of nearby visitors, he fell before anyone could reach out and help. His story served as a heart-wrenching reminder of the dangers present. In 1946, a popular American fashion designer nearly fell to her death at the Grand Canyon. She was on a fashion shoot, hoping to capture the Grand Canyon's beauty as her backdrop. Dressed in vibrant colors, she stepped closer to the edge for the perfect shot when the ground beneath her gave way. Falling, it seemed all hope was lost. But fate had other plans. A small outcropping broke her fall, and she landed miraculously with minor injuries. Rescuers tied a rope around her, lifting her out of the canyon. She was wearing a halter top, which the rope pulled off on the way up. She arrived safely but topless, to the welcoming of plenty of media men happy to cover the story. Iona Hosioda, a passionate adventurer, had embarked on a mission to hike the length of the Grand Canyon. With every step, she wanted to feel the canyon's pulse, its ancient stories. Tragically, during her hike, she misstepped and faced a terrible fall. Her accident reminded everyone of the ever-present dangers, even for seasoned hikers. Another heart-wrenching tale involves a father from Texas. In a bid to scare his daughter, he pretended to lose his balance at the edge, intending it as a playful act. But the joke turned into a nightmare when he couldn't regain his balance in time, and tragically fell. Perhaps the most soul-stirring of all these stories is that of four-year-old Natalie Yergin, the youngest victim. A momentary lapse in attention, a sudden dash, and the little girl had met her tragic end before anyone could react. 
Her story is a sad reminder of how crucial it is for parents to always keep their children close by. 2019 was a tragic year in which three people fell within weeks of each other. Several incidents reminded everyone of the unpredictable nature of this vast landscape. It started with a 50-year-old tourist from Hong Kong who, driven by the desire for that perfect selfie, ventured beyond the designated safe zones. As he adjusted his angle for a better shot, he inadvertently stepped on an unstable section of the ground, causing him to lose his balance and fall. The second was a 67-year-old man from California who was out climbing and taking pictures of the beautiful scenery. He was so amazed by his surroundings that he had to back up too far to get the whole scene in his picture. Before he could realize what was happening, he fell over the edge. The third was a 69-year-old woman who died after falling from a rocky point west of Pipe Creek Vista. The Grand Canyon, with all its magnificence, is also a place where stories of joy, adventure, heartbreak, and caution intertwine. As we remember these souls, we're reminded to treat the canyon with the respect and caution it demands. Photography has been both a gift and a curse throughout the history of the Grand Canyon. Capturing the canyon's essence in a photograph has always been a popular goal. Pictures serve as keepsakes, reminding us of the breathtaking beauty and feelings of awe the Grand Canyon inspires. From black and white snapshots of yesteryear to today's digital images, every photograph tells a story of wonder and admiration. However, as history has shown, the pursuit of that perfect shot has often blurred the lines between safety and danger. Over the years, many visitors, entranced by the idea of capturing the canyon's grandeur, have pushed personal and physical boundaries. It's essential to understand the risks that come with this passion. Standing at an edge, adjusting a camera's focus, or looking through a lens can shift one's balance and perception. Distractions are ever-present, and the allure of a unique angle or the chase for a picturesque sunset view has led many to ignore safety barriers, warnings, and their innate sense of caution. A question that arises from these tragic tales is, is the photograph or thrill truly worth the risk? Is an image worth more than a life, no matter how splendid? With the Grand Canyon's vast expanse and treacherous edges, a moment's distraction or a slight misstep can result in dire consequences. Many of those who fell victim to the canyon's depths only sought to immortalize a moment, unaware that the very act could lead to a tragic end. The Grand Canyon, with its vast stretches of layered rock and sinuous rivers, stands as a testament to the duality of nature. On one hand, it offers us unparalleled beauty and vistas carved over millennia, evoking feelings of awe and wonder in all who visit. On the other hand, the very beauty that beckons millions every year has also been the backdrop for tales of heartbreak and tragedy. Reflecting upon the history of the Grand Canyon, it becomes clear that while nature offers us her most magnificent sights, she also demands our utmost respect. The tales of those who met their untimely ends in this natural wonder serve as poignant reminders of the delicate balance between admiration and caution. As we move forward, let's carry with us a renewed call to action. Whenever we step into the realm of such majestic landscapes, be it the Grand Canyon or any other natural wonder, let's prioritize safety above all else. Nature's beauty is to be revered, not challenged. Let's ensure that our stories and memories from these places are filled with joy, wonder, and respect, rather than regret. We'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences. Please share your comments below, and stay tuned for our subsequent videos diving deeper into the marvels and mysteries of our world.